Hello everyone, here is Elizabeth from Germany. I'm so super excited to be doing this video actually. I just want to give a big shout to one of my mentors. Um, he's called Augustine. Augustine is such a wonderful man who is always ready to give results. Um, when I got in contact with this man, he expanded my mind actually. He made me realize the kind of person I'm, I am. Um, he helped me really to organize myself and also to aspire to be somebody um, more a greater person actually um, so listen if you're looking for somebody to do something with to do business with somebody um, who can be a wonderful mentor to you Augustine is the right person uh, so all the way from Germany Dusseldorf I just want to say bye thanks very much <laughs>18 and started traveling the world and started abroad and I had the dream you know I had the, I was chasing the dream like anybody would chase the dream and then I realized that I thought other people were smarter than Africans in specific okay but I realized these guys are not as smart as us but the only difference they had was the way they saw life and the way they thought about life and I realized we have so much compared to elsewhere but we don't think with what we have and that, you know, started pushing me into sharing our own story. And that is the most, that's what inspires me because just being all over the world, you realize people had a certain way they viewed black people, which was so wrong. And I realized that, yes, who is going to tell our story? Nobody. So when I see somebody like Mr. Gustin doing all this, you know, uh, it's beautiful. 
that someone is arising, is organizing and aspiring. That's so amazing. Mm -hmm. And you're sharing your story from your side. Absolutely. Yeah. And that, that pushed me to go forward with first with starting a blog. It was called, it's still called a spicy traveler, just documenting my travels around the world as a black man. Yeah. Then it went into a podcast, the Shift podcast, and I realized that what we suffered as black people in general, I'm sorry to use that whole, but you know, it, yeah. it matters to me, my culture was just the way we thought about wow. our life. And yeah, so here it's been down like five years down the road and we're still going. So that's okay. a brief introduction about me, sir. Wow, wow, wow. Ugandan born and um, currently living in Bangkok. And um, yeah, yes, man, I, I see you, man. You know, you are, you are the man, <laughs> right? <laughs> I, I see I'm you. Humbled. I see you always documenting your family travel here. I'm like, this man living a life, man. You know, <laughs> what does it do? You know, what's, what's happening on the other side? Man, it's, it's just amazing to see the fellow brother, you know, doing well. And uh, I love how you, you know, you, you deal with your kids. And that's why, you know, for me, I just don't invite people just like that's your platform, but people who are just living by example, people who are just Thank living, you. Um, you know, living the, the, the actual talk that they talk mm -hmm. with the walk as well. And uh, it just, it's just incredible what you do, man. You, you, you may think it goes unnoticed, but people see and uh, it's an honor to have. So, so what what was it like growing up? You know, you live in Uganda. You know, what was it like? Tell me more about that story. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so I grew up in a pastor's family. That's the first thing. Yeah. So my growing up is quite different from normal growing up. Does that make sense? Right. right. Yeah. And it may not necessarily make sense until you're there. But uh, I thought it grew. We grew up in a good life. That's first of all. We grew up in a good life. But we grew up differently, and um, and it was for the good, for for sure. But we were we were walled into the walls of the church okay. somehow. Mm. So our all our aspirations and all the people we looked into were like men of God and pastors, which is a good thing. Yeah. And then for me, I'm more inquisitive, and I question things. So when I started traveling, I realized that I saw people who didn't believe our God. I saw people who did not pray like we prayed in Africa, doing so better. And I know God is true. I know God is real. And I started looking for that. What's the missing link here? Yeah. That, that missing link. I wasn't into doubting God, no. But I know that if people who, be, who don't believe the God we believe have this kind of results. Mm. How come we don't? So that missing link drove me to the search. And my first book was from Joyce Meyer. Joyce Meyer and the book is uh, The Butter Food of the Mind. That right. ticked it up. I woke up. I'm like, okay. After Joyce Meyer, I went to Norman Vincent, The Power of Positive Thinking. So right. it started exciting me. Then I went to Donald Trump, uh, Think Big. Think then big. I went to um, Ben Carson, uh, The Power of uh, Gifted Hands. Mm. So I started adding up all these dots. And then from there, I went to who switched off my brain, Dr. Caroline Leaf, and that transformed this. Right. It just added up the link, man. I was like, okay, the missing link here is how we saw ourselves how we thought about our lives. And I realized that these people don't have any added advantage on them, but all they right. have is their mind and how they see life. And then, so as the Bible says in Proverbs chapter 23 and verse seven, mm. I love that scripture. We say, as a man thinks in his heart, yeah. so he is. So that meant that you are a total sum of your thoughts. See? Mm. Wow. You're not a total sum of your prayers. No. You're not a total sum of your wealth. No, man. No. Your value is not that. Mm. It's the thought. We celebrate people like Mark Zuckerberg. You know, it's an idea. Brian Koshan, the guy who started WhatsApp, it's an idea. Uh, Jeff Bezos, it's an idea. Uh, let's see, Jack Ma uh, of Alibaba, it's an idea. Mm. So you realize that all of these 
people who inspire us, who are transforming the world, run by ideas. Wow. So when you get that, you start searching and expanding your ideas because in that, there is wealth. Wow. Wow. And, and it's so funny how you say that because, you know, you've just said it all, you know, talking about your background, you know, growing up from, you know, not, not in, in the church environment, just like we all grew up in the church environment. And, yeah. you know, um, I love the church. I love the people. But um, the same question, you, you just ask yourself, why are people succeeding? Why are people in better places? And why are the people that we know? Uh, on a lower vibration, lower results in certain areas of their life. And um, it's yeah. just like you said, you said it perfectly, guys. Like Everybody listening, understand that it's not about how much you pray. You know, you can pray and have the negative thoughts, have the negative mindset about yourself. As a man thinketh, so he or she is. So you can be praying, but still have a negative feeling, negative vibration about yourself. And that leads into the result. And look, it's just funny as you say that, and you just bang on, man. And that's why, you know, you are doing what you're doing and you're living the life you're living right now, man. Uh, it's Thank incredible. you. So what was, the, what, what was the Bob switch? You know, because this platform is to really educate mm. people to arise. You know, the mm. whole message is to get people to arise. You know, the beginning of our success is taking a step to arise, right? Mm. Get started, mm. go out there, and then, of course, put yourself in, organize and, and aspire. But what, what was the switch for you? When when did you have the light bulb? Yeah, I get it. You came from Uganda. You saw what you saw. But it didn't just change automatically for you. You didn't just wake up and say, hey, I, I'm I'm John McCreevy. Hey, let me just do it. No, you can have like, <laughs> some obstacles, you know. And today we are talking about the power of our thoughts and why important that is. So what was the transformation in your mind? What would the get go in your life at that point? Tell me more. Thank you. That's an interesting question. <clears throat> you see, I still believe life is a series of course corrections. Course correction. Wow. Mm. And it may not necessarily be one point that changes your life forever. But I think we should be willing to unlearn every day. Mm. We should be willing to unlearn. So I think for me, it wasn't one moment that switched it, but it's been a series of different things happening that have transformed me into what I am today. Uh, for the first example, I think back then, like six years ago, yeah, I was chasing fame so badly. And back then, uh, I was chasing fame and it was one of my aims. And I had attained a little amount of fame and I had a lot of friends and a lot of followers. And so one time I get stuck in Singapore, mm. you know, being black, things happen. You're at the airport, you know, they doubt that you're going to stay there. And I'm like, hey, I'm here just for only one week. And I don't blame them. They've had experiences. Does that make sense? Absolutely. Yeah. So, so I get stuck. They're like, okay, you need to have a certain amount of money on you to let you in. Wow. But the moment was, I was waiting for this money. Uh, it would have come to my account after three days. Ooh. I was like, please, I have all this. So they were like, they were so kind. So I go into my phone. I had over 5,000 friends on Facebook. I started texting people. I text like 80 people. Wow. And nobody could lend me $50. Ooh. That woke me up. I was like, wait, what am I chasing? Mm. What am I chasing here? If I used to find my value in who liked my content, I could get a thousand likes on my content. But if I can't transform those likes into even $50, that's wrong. Indeed. Because we are in a world that's ran by money. And I... I I knew I was going to give it back to them. But I realized that I think I'm chasing the wrong thing. If money rules the world, okay, and yeah. the friends and the environment around me couldn't support me in that which rules the world. You see, the Bible says money answers all things. Yeah. Does that make sense? So I'm like, no, 
So that was one of the things that woke me up. So I stopped chasing the wrong thing. So I went on this journey of self-development and I started reading as much as I could. So that reading, I still do. You know, started transforming things. I can't tell you that this is the exact point where things changed, but this reading, getting information and becoming practical about the information I have got, I've made me a better man. I've not yet reached, but I've started moving at least. Absolutely. I mean, that's what that that's that's what is important, you know, taking the gradual steps, you know, um, and um, I love how you put it, guys. Anybody listening to you can hear his story. You can see that he got to a point where he had to change, chase the right stuff. You know, I think that was your defining moment. Sometimes situation happen for us to change our thought process. Sometimes, you know, something has to happen for us to really sit down and think, evaluate, review. Okay, are we are we in the right mind? Uh, are we doing the right? And those things had to happen. That scenario or that incident had to happen in your life for the better. For like, it was like a wake up call for you to like, wow, I, 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 was I thinking the right thing? Was those thoughts in my mind? You know, I want fame. I want fame. Or you know, was that the right vibration or the right direction? Because fame without you know the right environment, the right crowd, it, it's 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 not it's it's pointless. You know, so it, it's just amazing that um, that that scenario happened in your life that gave you, you know, a, a piece of what you are today. So, you know, I, I love I love what you just said. And so why is why is your thoughts important? You know, why is having a right mindset important? You know, and you being a father, yeah. you being a married man, you know, of course, you know, in your in your area of expertise, like I think you, you teach as well. You do teaching as well. Something yeah, like yeah. That? I mean, I'm teaching. Yeah, I'm also a teacher. Most of yes, day. exactly. Like, what, what would you talk about? What would you say to the people about how to control your thoughts, how to have the right thoughts? You know, like, you know, how, how powerful they, they, they say the things we think we become. You know, how powerful is that? And if you were to give that honor on a nutshell, what would you say to the people today? Thank you so much for that question. I, I like what you said <clears throat> the things we think we become. You see, Everything we see in life started with a thought. Mm. Everything. Uh, when you look, I'm going to refer to the Bible. I'm sorry, but to the listeners, you know, oh, yeah. I truly believe the Bible. So we see in the book of Genesis when God was uh, creating man, we see in the book of Genesis chapter 1 and verse 26, he brings up an idea. He says, let us create, mm. let us make man. So when I tell Mr. Augustine, and he says, uh, John, uh, let's say, he's, let me say, I, I, I request you, let us make an episode together. It doesn't mean that it has already been made, but actually in the future, it's already made. Yes. But it started with a decision to make it. True. And where does that decision come from? It comes from your brain comes from your mind. It comes yeah. from how you see it. So before we go there, meaning that everything you see mm. on this earth is a thought. And everything that you see that man made, these clothes, it was somebody's idea. The yeah. electricity we use is somebody's idea. The computers you're using, it was somebody's idea. Everything, even you as an individual, you're God's idea on earth. That's mm. why he shows us in the Bible that he said, let us make. And then later on in the other chapter, he makes the man. Meaning that when you think, you create. Wow. So this is when guys like Augustine come in to motivate you to actually act on that thought. That's where mentors come in to be like, okay, I know you have this thought. You want to start this business? Get into it. Okay, mm -hmm. I used to love hotels. I love hotels because of all the bad experiences I get from myself. I'm like, I want to do hotels. Okay, so what? that pushes me to look for real estate on the lake because I know what I want. But it's still a thought. But it starts out a thought, and it becomes so easy. When I'm looking for real estate, I don't buy anything. I know what I want. Why? The thought is there of what I want. Maybe yeah. that. 
when we use our mind and our thoughts, I'm sorry, I'm interchanging these words, we can create. And when we create, we can have value and add value to the rest of the world. Simple as that. You see, you're not here on by, by mistake. Nobody is on earth by mistake. But still, that purpose, you cannot find it laying down and feeling worried about yourself and being negative about yourself. You cannot. I think somebody has to just wake up and be like, okay, I don't know where I'm going, but I'm going to start going. Yeah. And of course, I don't encourage people to just go without a plan, but start. Start. Just do it. And that starting comes from having a thought. Mm. Any idea you see, everything you see, nothing. Let's look at these, look at these earpods. These are just a thought. Somebody's thought. Okay, he's like, okay, I think I want to make this. And it works. Mm. These iPhones, we all crave for. It's a thought. But you realize thoughts translate into growth. Thoughts translate into wealth. Thoughts translate into money. Meaning that everybody is rich because they can think. Wow. That's a great point. So the, uh, the power of your wealth, the power of your development is to sit down and think. Sit down and think. Sit <laughs> <laughs> down and think. Mm. And I know something says, uh, I've had a statement before, somebody say that the same mind that created the problem cannot be the same mind that brings a solution, which is okay. That is where we need mentors. Mm. That is where we need friends of influence. That is mm. where we need a good environment of growth. Yeah. That is where we come in to cut off things and friends who don't develop us, who don't grow us. Because regardless of how beautiful you think, being in the wrong environment is bad. Yes. <laughs> so when you understand that, it's, Oh, you see, everybody can make it in this life. Mm. It's just the environment. That's what. And as a father, I train my daughters to see life a different way. Mm. And because the thoughts I feed into them, for example, we don't fall sick in our house. Okay, that's how we are. Does sickness come? Of course it comes. Yeah. But... Do we fall sick? My nope. daughter knows she doesn't fall sick. Mm. So sometimes she can be weak. She's like, yeah, daddy, I'm sick. I'm like, just come, let her pray for you. She's like, okay, I'm fine. She can be sick. But she has been told in her brain that she mm. doesn't fall sick. And for example, for me, I've not fallen sick. I've not taken medicine or fallen sick for the past over 11 years. Wow. But it's all here. But people believe that sickness is a normal thing. Yeah, that's the problem. How you think in your heart, you will be. Do I get attacked by sickness? Of course. But mm. do I take it in? No. I feel weak. I'm like, I'm going to do 30 push-ups. I'm like, <laughs> I feel weak. I'm like, I'm going to go run. And in the end, your body responds to how you see life. Simple yes. as that, man. Life is simple. If you discover that, <laughs> that power you have, in your mind yes sir <laughs> wow 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 john those are some those are some some incredible nuggets right there you you just you. you just nailed it you just said Thank you. you know i think sometimes when I, I mean when somebody around me say oh i'm sick i get it there are levels of how one feels and etc and everybody knows what it, but i truly believe you know the energy you drive to you becomes your reality Okay, so, so wow. when you're feeling sick, when you're feeling sick, you're like, oh yeah, I'm sick. You know, you know. Every time you use that statement, it's in your mind. It's in your mind. So you're driving that to you. Okay, every time you say, oh, I, I, I am useless. There's, there's not a thought that comes to your mind. You thought about it that you are useless. It came into your yep. mind because thoughts become things, right? Thoughts yep. become things. They become your reality. So yep. whatever you think, you become automatically. Yes, like yes, if, if you believe, if you even think about it for two seconds, you will become that automatically. 
because it's now yes, working in your mind. All right. Yes, so sir. Yes, sir. When, when there when there's a, a negative thought, well, as you said, everybody and this and that's why we created this platform. Just why you've created a shit podcast to make people understand that it's not about you don't have to be a genius. You don't have to be special because we are all created equal. Right. We all create yes, the God as one. We sleep yes, on the sir. same bed. We, 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 we drink the same water. We yes, pretty sir. much we eat the same foods. So the only difference, as you said earlier, wasn't just about the scriptures. It wasn't just about you going to church. It was because the people that have the current life they have, the current result they have, they talk different. Yep. Yep. So everything you yep. just said, man, that's bang on. And I love the fact <laughs> Thank that you. you're, you're implementing that with your children, exactly, you know what I'm saying? You're building them up to understand that whatever you're feeling in your mind in that moment, when you feel, you know, a lot of people like to play the victim role. I call it victim attitude. Mm, you know, mm, why mm. me? Oh, 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 why me? Why that? Yes, you know, why Why not you? But it's all mm. up to you to really switch your mind on that. Man, look, that's powerful. Guys, drop some loves in there for Mr. John McKee. The Uganda champion out there in Bangkok. <laughs> Thank you, right. sir. Brother, look, we, we've had some great stuff, and I know we're going to have more. Um, but yes, what are your final words? If you were to give some final, um, you know, actions and action plan towards today's discussion about thought, you know, the power of your thought. Whatever you think, you become. As a man thinketh, so he or she is. And that's what you said earlier on. Uh, and, and, you know, whatever goes in your mind, that's what yep. you are becoming. Whatever you were paying attention to, that's what you're becoming. So what will yep. be your final words, brother? And I know that um, a lot of people are taking notes. A lot of people would like to connect with you. Uh, on a, hey, guys, you can connect with Mr. John on all platform. John Mokibi, Elijah, you know, very, very powerful individual, a uh, true visionary, and somebody who lives just by action, not just by words. So, brother, what are your final yeah. nuggets? Well, so my final nuggets to this, I think, is environment. Environments are so powerful. Environments are so powerful. And you have to make a deliberate choice to leave certain environments. If it means to change neighborhoods, you have to be deliberate and change neighborhoods. Those people are not different from any one of us. No. But they see things differently. And so you have to get into that space where people see things different, whatever you attract, you know, you, whatever you 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 you, you, you want to be like, be around that, because that changes the conversations you hear. You know, you you can pick up a lot of ideas just being around the right, around the right people, and that is so important. And a lot of times we are caught up in that space of being afraid of leaving certain environments and. We start thinking that we have to please people to stay with them. But I think you have to get bold enough about your life because you have one life, by the way. Mm. One. So it's one shot. Do it well. And God has given you everything available to do life well with so many examples. Look in the Bible. When God called Abraham, he had to take him out of his village. When God called Moses, he had to take him out. When God called Joseph, he had to take him out. Oh. All of the visionaries of... <laughs> these people have to go away look at Paul, the writer of the New Testament this guy had to leave and went in the desert transformation happens when you change your environment Wow! and I can't say enough but I think if I would do anything differently I'll change my environment change your environment and look for those people who inspire you look for people who, 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 who you want to be like read about them, study them you may not be like them, but at least think like them. Trust me, when you act their thought, you can be them. Of course, you're not meant to be them, but you can achieve greatness when you change from the wrong environment to the right environment. Yes, sir. Wow. Well, I don't know, guys. I don't know about well, you guys, but look, even look, this gentleman here just said it all. Like he just threw bombs and nuggets and you know knowledge, guy. You just had it. You know, one thing I learned about it, he just said when Moses had to go, 
He had to be changed in the environment. You know, yes, it, 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 wow, this uh, Abraham change of environment, you know, because sometimes some of the negative thoughts we get are from the environment and the things we experience around us, you know, so sometimes it, it's just like when you, when you call your, your so-called a bad day, you've got to go somewhere else to, to have a good day. Right. Uh, because <laughs> like, if you, if you live in a toxic environment, you're going to have, you know, a lot of thoughts. That's why most people often have like, Thoughts of suicidal, you know, thoughts mm. of committing um, this, thought of killing themselves because of the environment they are in at the moment, you know. And, mm. and and I say something. It's just like when you go to church conventions, you feel different because you are in an environment of positive vibration. But when you are with by yourself, you start to feel a different thought, and because you give yourself room for the devil to work on your brain, because you allow the devil to get in there. And the same thing when you go to, you know, an empowerment event, you feel different. The moment you come out and you don't work on yourself, just like Mr. John, reading books to keep the mental state in the right space, guess what? You fall short because you're back to the same environment. And look, we get that. We know people who have actually come from a really crazy environment, but they work on their brain 10 times harder to really wow. get to where they want to get to. So, Look, th that's powerful, man. John, look, wow. man, I, I can't thank you enough. Um, I know we're going to do some great stuff together. I know sure. uh, we're going to be on platforms and stages to really give the information, just like you said. It's only one life, and we are committed to create a platform to help people arise, organize, and aspire. And I know for sure, guys, that it's time to shift your mindset, and that's why we have the Shift Podcast as well. So, look, thank I want to you. thank you, man, for taking time out of your schedule. And um, thank look, you. it's an honor and a privilege for you saying yes to this Facebook Live uh, so that we can give value. So, look, man, I appreciate you. Love, prosperity. Have a great day. Regards to your family, your loved ones. Thank and, you. And, uh, look, you. we will stay in touch. Guys, show sure. some love to you for John. Go follow him. Go check him out. And I'll see you guys pretty soon. God bless, my friend. Thank you. God bless you. Bye. The goal is to learn the skill.